Good morning to you all out there in Facebook land. It is Keisha Bass here on Monday morning. Okay, so thank God it's Monday. Hey, listen, drop me a comment. Let me know where you all are coming in on this Monday. It is time for your Money Monday motivation from the Purpose Penthouse. All right, so what's up, Vanessa? Hey, welcome, welcome. All right, so you guys, listen, be sure to share this out. When you do, put share it in the comments. Um, also, if you're watching on the replay, also put in hashtag replay. Love to come back and actually, um, you know, thank you all that actually watched the replay. We appreciate you. Uh, my name is Keisha Bass. And just in case you watch me for the very first time, okay? And, um, and I help purposeful win- women place their fingerprint in this world by helping them create a powerful online presence that pays, okay? It is about getting paid, girlfriend, all right? So if uh, one of my coaches says, if it ain't about, if it don't make money, don't make sense. If it don't make mo- something, you guys know what it is. If it ain't about money, don't make sense. I don't know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Listen, share this out, okay? Because I got some things I want to talk to you guys about today, about seven money myths, all right? Seven money myths that are keeping you broke, girlfriend, okay? Listen, ain't nobody got time for that. If you're not a part of the Purpose Penthouse, okay, then on the actual, uh, on the description here, you'll see the hashtag, the Purpose Penthouse. If you click that actual hashtag, it'll take you over to find the Facebook group. And I have some free gifts for you guys inside the Facebook group, one being the major definite purpose, okay, which we talked about the major definite purpose last night. Let me find mine because I got to we talked about the major definite purpose last night inside the group, okay? So you got to have your major definite purpose. Um, and then also the self-confidence formula. And these documents are inside the Facebook group. And also you get access to my daily action plan. So if you are struggling with what do I do each and every day inside of my business, then listen, girlfriend, go over in there um, and and grab those documents today, all right? And if you're, uh, if you're a part of the Purpose Penthouse VIP, okay, which is my paid membership coaching group, then on last night as well, I gave you all an assignment for you all to do with these documents. So if you're not a part of the Purpose Penthouse VIP, okay, then you got to go to when I'm done, go over to the thepurposepenthouse.com and get into that actual group because um, I actually, I put your homework in there. Okay. So some homework that you need to do with the major different purposes in there. Um, and then also you all know every single day inside of the Purpose Penthouse VIP, we have results in five. So you got to tell us what you're doing in your business. You guys no more. Girlfriend, it is no more of you out here talking about you you doing business, talking about you getting paid, and you not doing no activity to get paid. Okay, besides watching people on Facebook Live and you scrolling and, and everything, and you don't have any activity. So, um, so in the Purpose House VIP, we say, listen, go public, go public, go public on what you're doing. Okay, so we don't, we don't, we don't. Um, we're, it's not a hiding club. Okay. You go, you go, perp, you go public on your money and go public on your activities. All right. Cause those things will, will match up. If you want to know where the problem is in your business, it's probably your activity. Mm-hmm. That's probably where it is. It's probably the activity that you're doing. You're not doing actually it's not, it's not, it's the activity that you're not doing. That is the issue. Okay, go public. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Derek Strickland? Okay. What's up, everybody? All right. So let me just see who I got out here in these comments, out here in this internet streets. Hey, be sure to share this out. Okay. I got some good, good stuff for you guys this morning. Um, and um, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. I see you all coming on in the building. What's up, Tanisha? Wanda Vaughn. It looks like I'm going to be talking to you today. I think I have you on my calendar today. Um, yes, Sherry, what's going on, girlfriend? Patricia, what's up? Erica is here. Stephanie's here. The prices is here. Awesome. You guys, let's get this party started because, um, I got lives to change today, so I got to get on phone calls and talk to people and talk about how they can change their lives, okay? So so we got to get this going. So let's talk about these money myths that are keeping you broke. Thank you for sharing. Um, Sherry, I appreciate you. Uh, you are so committed and so awesome. I thank you for sharing. What's up, Kelly Smith? I see you actually joined us. Rhonda is here. Rhonda, I have to talk to you today. Awesome. So number one, the number one myth, okay, that um, that most people have that most people have, and I'm gonna tell you guys something that Keisha Bass as well, I had to I had to overcome as well, is one of the myths that we have is that money is evil. Okay? Money is evil. Okay? That's one right. I want you to write these down because these are myths 
that we hold dear, near and dear. Now, I'm going to tell you, I always tell people, like, listen, I was raised in good, good church, okay? My my grandfather was a Baptist preacher, okay? And so, uh, and so we grew up, we grew up with the, um, with the scripture that says, the love of money, okay, is the re- root of all evil and causes all kind of something, something, something. I don't know the rest of it. Cause that's all they told me. All I know is the love of money is the root of all evil. That's all I knew, okay? And so because of that, um, I believe personally, and this is my personal opinion, and I don't need nobody to co-sign on it at all, okay? My personal opinion was that that was really, that was really a trick, a seed, if you want to, if you want to say the enemy planted a seed or something like that, or he did something, uh, he, you know, I personally believe that that was used to keep people in bondage. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Because what happened, what happened with that, what happened with that for many people, many good God fearing Christian going to church every Sunday morning folks is that they now had an association with money that money was bad that money was evil and so because you have a desire to be closer to God and be more like God and all of that so you don't want to be associated with anything that's evil can I put a number one in the comments if I'm in if I'm in the vein y'all okay let's just let's just go there okay so nobody wanted to be associated with anything that was evil so it caused people that actually um and this is my personal opinion, okay? Um, people who were who God had called to change the world, okay? I, I personally believe that, like who God had called to change the world, right? It caused those people to do what? To not want the thing that could help them actually change the world. Because if you're going to make a great impact in the world, sweetheart, baby girl, you're not Mother Teresa in these in these streets, okay? You are not Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa did work and she did all this work and she, you know, everybody gave to her and whatever, but she still was rich. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you're not Mother Teresa. <laughs> so if you're going to make a world, a global impact, it's going to require you, my dear, to have large sums of cash. Now I'm just going to go there. I don't care. And most people don't like me because I talk about this stuff and I don't care about that either. Right. Because I'm just going to tell you the truth. Um, and it's just the truth. It's just the truth. Every this whole world revolves around you having money. OK, here's number two. OK, I got to go. Keep going. Uh, number two. Here's another myth that people talked about. Uh, money can't buy happiness. <laughs> money can't buy happiness. You guys um, not having money can't buy it either. So why? Why do we even? Why do we even hold, why do we even have to say stuff like this? Oh my God, you know, and the only people who say this, the only people who say stuff like this, money can't buy happiness, money do, is the people that don't have any money. Let's just be honest. Let's just tell the truth this Monday morning. Let's you know, drink a tea. I got some tea. I actually have tea this morning, okay? Let's just drink the tea. Money can't buy happiness. Who, you guys, like, was it, like, be, it, being unhappy does it buy anybody any happiness? What do you guys know? The the why do most crime happen? Why do we have crime? Can you someone can someone go with me today? Why do we have crime? Why why do we have crime now? It ain't because people are bored. Now there's some people that are kleptomaniacs just because that's just you know they're maybe they it, it may be something that was like psychologically off. But why do we have crime in America like we do? Why do we have the drug movement in America um, like we did? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do we did? Why did we have? Why do we have this? Because people desire to have things, and then if people can't see a way to have what they want, then they do something illegal to get the things that they want, right? And so we had, you know. You know, people wanted, you know, they wanted to live the glamorous life. And so they did some things that were, you know, illegal. I'm not saying it was right, but I'm just saying, right, that that the most, the more the evil has been done to acquire things than anything because people don't have money. They don't understand how to get it. Okay. So money can't buy happiness. That's, that's, that's just dumb. Okay. Cause being unhappy, you know, I tell people, I tell people I'd rather cry in a BMW than in a Toyota or something like that or in a boat on a bus. <laughs> on a bus, okay. I'd rather cry in in a Mercedes than to cry on the bus. And I'm just saying, okay. 
All right, that's number two. Number three, money is hard to come by. Number three, this is a myth, you guys. These are myths. If you're just not joining me, welcome. My name is Keish Bass. I help purposeful women place their fingerprint in this world by creating a powerful online presence that pays, that pays, sweetheart, okay? Using your God-given talents and abilities. And you guys, I'm I'm going to be um, doing a webinar actually on this Thursday. I'm putting out there. I'm, I'm, I'm going public, okay? I'm doing a webinar this Thursday, and I'm going to talk about my my formula to wealth. My wealth formula, okay, and um, and yeah, so you definitely want to be on the lookout for um for me releasing that link because it's gonna be fire, all right. But here we go. Money is hard to come by, you guys. I want you to know that's an absolute myth. There is money everywhere. There's money everywhere. I mean, just think about your neighborhood. Just think about on your way. If you went to work to you need if you went to work today, um, then there was money, you know. There was money at the convenience stores. People were buying and selling at the convenience stores. People were buying and selling at the grocery store. I mean, like, there's, you know, there's there's money everywhere. Gas stations, everything. Money's hard to come by. Um, there's daycare centers, right? So the daycare centers, there's money being made there. Um, doctor's office, dentist office. I mean, like, there's just money everywhere being made. And the real thing is, like, why aren't you making money? Why, why, why aren't you taking your, your God given abilities and making money? Here's what I was, here's where I, I told someone over, um, I think I was talking to my branding coach about this, um, because we were talking about jobs and people, you know, and I'm just, you know, I'm, everybody knows by now, he's bad. Like, it was funny because I was at church and one of the, uh, one of the, uh, ministers at church or whatever, he said, we were talking about, you know, he said, you still working from home? I was like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He said, yeah, you just not going to clock in. Are you? I said, Oh no. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And I said, I said, jobs crush creativity. <laughs> That's what I said. Jobs crush creativity. You have to go in and be good at what they want you to be good at. I mean, some people find a job that can use their God given talents and abilities and stuff like that. But for the most part, you guys aren't going to be, you guys aren't even tapping into what God, the, the talents that are in, inside of you, just like, just like you're born, you're natural giving, you're, you're God given. It's almost like the, um, the story in the Bible with the talents, how he gave one, five, one, 10, and one, one, right? And so then some of you guys are like, and I'm gonna talk about this in my webinar. Many of you guys, you have talents, gifts, and abilities, and you're not even, you're not using them at all, at all. I mean, not, not at all. They're not, you're not using them at all. When you get out from your work, when you get out from work, you're so tired, you can't even think. You can't even create because you're so tired because you just worked for somebody else building someone else's dream. You just built, you just spent eight hours of your life that you'll never get back. Some of you guys work 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours and stuff like that. You just worked all them hours building somebody else's dream. And then when you get home, you are so tired and so exhausted that you can't even create. You can't even think about something to do to leave a legacy for your kids or for your grandchildren or your nieces or your nephews or your community. You can't, you don't even have the capacity. So that's what I'm against. Okay. I'm not really against jobs. At least some people have to work them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, whatever. Right? I don't know if I can believe that. Um, you know, we need some people to do some stuff, but why can't it be a business? You know what I'm saying? Like, we was like, oh, well, we need people to do, uh, we need maid service. Why can't that be a business? Why can't, the, why can't the hotel hire her company to come in and clean the beds? You see what I'm saying? Like, I can figure out where it's all the time. It's, it's, yeah, it's on your own business. And we all buy from each other. You, you got something I need? Okay, I'll buy from you. All right. You guys see what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Put a two in the comments if this makes sense. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. So money is not hard to come by. You just, you just need to give yourself the power to create. If you guys have not, um, listened to Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret, I want you to do that for the next 30 days. The Strangest Secret, Earl Nightingale is absolutely free on, um, on YouTube. It's free. It's free on YouTube. Okay. Um, Earl Nightingale, The Strangest Secret. I want you to listen to it every single day, 30 days straight. Okay. Um, because if you're here, if you were attracted to this, if you were brought, um, here, um, today, then I know that you don't, you think like I think, because most people don't, they don't stay on stuff like this because they are, they've been, they, they hoodwinked, you know, they're bamboozled. <laughs> and so, you know, you know, so people like me just like piss off the world. Like what, what do you, what do you mean? 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, it happened to me too. I'll, re I'll tell you guys this one. I, when I first listened to the signs of getting rich, I was offended. I was like, what? I was offended when I listened to the signs of getting rich the first time. Cause I was like, how, how dare you? How dare you? You know, say some of the stuff you say in that. Hey, so, you know, so some of y'all have to be offended so you can do something different. Okay. So listen, um, number four, having too much money makes you evil. Number four, having too much money makes you evil or greedy, greedy. Let's use greedy. Okay. Having too much money makes you greedy. You guys, you do not get up in the morning and keep, and be concerned about how much water somebody else is drinking. You don't get up and say, Oh my God, I can't believe that that person drank that much water. You don't get, you don't say that. You don't say, Oh my God, I can't believe she's breathing that many times a day. I cannot believe that she just took two breaths and I only took one. Nobody says that. But why do you do that about money? Why? Why do you, why do you, why do you feel like if you have an abundance of something that now somebody over here has to suffer because you have an abundance? Hello. Hello, somebody. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You don't say that about college. You, all the kids going to college right about now. All these children that are going to college right now and their parents are going to be paying rurally for this, for these diplomas. You don't say, Oh, if she gets two degrees, then, uh, Oh my goodness. Then I'm not going to, that's not going to be enough degrees for me. Oh, she get two degrees. If she get four degrees, that's greedy. Why would anybody want to get four degrees? That's just, nobody says that. What do we do? We're like, Oh, she's smart. Oh my gosh. She's a, that's just awesome. Oh, I just can't. Oh, that's just, that's just amazing. That baby got four degrees. I'm so excited. Right. Like, but when it comes down to money, then we'd be like, oh, I just want my share. I just want my portion. I don't want to take too much. <laughs> that's all stuff you got growing up. You got all that stuff growing up. Let that go. That's a, that's not, that's not right. That's not right. There's a, there's an abundance of everything here. There's an abundance of everything. Everything I need you to know that if you are the person that says, you know, my God owns a cattle on a thousand hills, do you think that he only got a thousand? Like he got to have more than a thousand. Okay. So, so there's an abundance of everything. I mean, there's an abundance. They talk about, they talk about, you know, water conservation and all that kind of stuff. Guys, you know that, um, if we, just because we're thinking about more water, more water is being produced. That's how powerful it is. Just because we're thinking about, if you have a desire for more water, there's more water that's being produced. There's more water being produced. Okay. There's, uh, I was listening to, uh, I was listening to the game to the game of life and how to play it. And she was talking about, um, there's there. God always supplies. He always, God always supplies. If there's a man, he supplies. If there's a demand, he's a, he supplies. There's always. So, so it does. So it, it doesn't matter whether they try to scare you on the TV and tell you we have to conserve water because the water, we're running out of water, man, we ain't going to ever run out of nothing. I mean, seriously, guys, like if you think it, you think it is a desire, it has to come from. Okay, oh my God. Okay, so having too much money makes you evil. Uh, five, I don't have time to make money. To make more money. I don't have time to make more money. I'm on number five. I don't have time to make more money. I don't have time to make more money. You have time to do whatever you want to do. You have the time to do whatever you want to do. And if you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. Okay. So that's, that's the real, that's the real deal. Holy feel. If you don't want to, they say where there's a will, there's a way where there is no will. There is no way. Write that in the comments. Does that make, ooh, is that, was that good? Y'all put a three in the comments. Come on. Throw me some hearts, love, hearts, hearts. Give me some hearts, likes, and some shares on this. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Where there is no will, there is no way. There is always a supply for every demand. Yes, that's what I was, Anissa, yes. There is always a supply for every demand. There is always a supply for every demand. I need you to write that down. You got to meditate on that today. There is always a supply for every demand. So that's why there's nothing that, that you want that there is not the, the resources for you to get it. 
<laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm saying like, like if you want to go on like a trip, an exotic trip, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is always a supply for your demand. <laughs> there, it always is, and we just have to change our belief system. We just have to change our beliefs. So, and that's that's where it kind of boils down to changing your beliefs. Okay, write that down. Thank you, Anissa, because that's what I was looking for. Man, that's what I'm talking about. See, you gotta you gotta work on you. And the only reason why I know about the game of life and how to play is because I hired a coach. Hello, and my coach told me to read the book. <laughs> and so, some of y'all need to like. I got some of y'all on my calendar today. But some of you guys need to get around some folks that can tell you um, some stuff for you to get your life together. Hello, somebody. Okay, I don't have time to make money. You have time. Okay, you have time to make money. But if you don't have a will to make more money, there's no way you'll make more money. Oh, my God. If you don't have a will to make more money, there's no way. There's no way you'll make more money. Like we talked about in church, like, you know, God will make a way out of no way. If you ain't got no will to do it, he ain't going to make no way. Stop that. Stop. He's not going against your will because <laughs> he gave you free will. Okay. My husband pre- preached about that yesterday. He gave you free will to say yes and to say no. And so if you don't have a yes in your spirit, man, <laughs> okay, like let me take y'all to church. If you don't have a yes in your spirit, then honey, I'm going to tell you right now, you can pray and you can cry to you blue in the face like my shirt. Okay. You could cry all day and all night, but if you don't have a yes, a will to make more money, to, to use the scriptures that have been given to you, to use, to exercise, to say the, the power to get wealth, I have given to, I have given to you the power to get wealth. I've given it to you. So why would you ask somebody to give you something they've already given you? Hello? Hello, walls. <laughs> right? Why would you do that? That's like asking your, your, your wife to be your, your, your girlfriend. It's like, well, I'm already your wife. Why would you ask me to do something like that? I've already, I'm already giving you my hand in marriage. Oh, what am I? I don't have nothing else to give, sweetie. This is it. This is it. This is all. And so you're asking and praying and like, oh my God, Lord. And you're like the deacon in the church, Lord. Jesus, if it be your will. He's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? If it be my will, it's in my word. That's my will. <laughs> if it be my will, that's it's in the word. It's in the word. That's his will. Why do we need to talk? Why do we need to like be doing all this stuff? Why I have wrote it down. My coach said, if you're, if you are a believer and you are broke, you don't believe the scriptures. I mean, when she said that, I almost hit the floor. I got to write. I wrote it in my book somewhere, y'all. Because I said, ooh, 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 ooh. Because I know I'm in some of y'all's house. I'm in the house. I know I'm in the house. I'm in the house. It's all good. It's all good. I got to find it in my notes. Okay. All right, let's keep going. I got to go. All right, so listen, here we go. Um, so um, here is number six. Was, I don't know where to start because here's some, some things you guys going to say. I don't know where to start to make money. That's not, that's a lie. That's a lie. You know, the lie detector determined that's a lie. <laughs> you guys watch, if you guys ever watch Murray Povich or whatever, like the lie detector determined that's a lie. I don't know where to start to make money. Girl, if you don't stop that foolishness today, like today, today, okay? Today, today. Take out a piece of paper. I'm going to give you a quick coaching session. Take out a piece of paper and write down everything you good at. Thank you, Sherry, for taking notes. Write out everything you good at. I mean everything. I don't want, don't skip nothing. Don't skip that. If you're good at doing makeup, you guys, like there are people that pay to do, pay you to like do their makeup. Maybe you're good at doing nails. I don't even know. Right. And it's a, it's a lie. It's a lie. It keep, but it keeps us comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like it keeps us comfortable. Our, we're, our brains are designed to keep us safe. So anytime we start to do something that, that challenge, that keep, that looks like we're unsafe, then our brain keeps us safe to be like, girl, uh, don't do that. No, no, no. Last time you joined a company, you didn't do well. And so, listen, you might want to not do that. 
Um, don't sell on Amazon because people get their account shut down. And so you don't want to, you don't want to do that. Um, no, don't start a business because that's risky. That's just too risky. Like people lose a lot of money, um, starting businesses. So, you know, don't start a business because that's not something you don't, you're not even good at that. Like you're not even good at like talking to people and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that's what will happen. Our brain will come up with some reasons why we shouldn't do something when it feels like, cause in our bodies, it's the same thing. Like we're being chased by a bear. So when you understand human psychology, you understand like when you get into doing something and launching out into the deep and launching out into something new, then there is a reaction. You know, my coach, she said that she said it, we either um, f- they say flight, flight or fright. And she said froze. So some of us go like we do fight, flight. Flight, fright, or froze, okay? Something like that, right? And I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't even think about that. Some of us just get froze. And I've been there. I've been froze. Like, where I've been like, I don't know what to do. And just like froze, okay? It happens, all right? So this is last and, last and certainly not least, and I have a challenge for you guys this week. Um, number seven is I don't earn enough to give. Number seven is I don't earn enough money to give. That's a myth. That is a myth, you guys. If you guys are just now tuning in, welcome, everybody. This is The Purpose Penthouse. Um, be sure to join us inside of our Facebook group. We have a hashtag, The Purpose Penthouse. If you click on that hashtag, it'll take you over into our Facebook group. Inside the Facebook group, I have some free gifts for you guys that join us in there. The Major Definite Purpose, which I absolutely love. This is a, this is actually one of the things that I actually I did to help me um, create the success that many of you guys, the sex sex you see, okay? This is one of the documents that helped me do it. And also the self-confidence formula. I would literally get up and guys, I read this every single day, right? You know what I'm saying? So this, these documents are life-changing. And also I put inside of there um, my six-step daily action plan. So if you don't know what to do inside of your business each and every day, then that um, that plan will actually help you. Okay, so in order for us to, um, in order for you to um, to release some things, and I'm I'm not gonna tell you guys. I'm listen. Don't. This is not no prophetic word. Don't take it like that because it ain't that. Okay. I did not. Die, God ain't told me to tell you to do nothing. So I'm I'm make sure I put that disclaimer out there because I don't like people to be out here um, on Facebook talking about the Lord said it's for you to do. Uh, no no no. This ain't the Lord didn't say do this. Um, but I'm challenging you, okay? I'm challenging you to do this because um, if you want more money, then you give money. You know what I'm saying? Like a seed produced after its own kind. A seed produces after its own kind. So some of you all want to uh, experience more money in your in your actual life. And so what I want you to do this week is I want you to um, I want you to intentionally, okay, intentionally. I want you intentionally, and I'm a, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna say, um, you you can kind of choose your 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 range, but I want you to find ways to give away money every day this week. I know, huh? I want you to find ways to give away money every day this week, even if it's you find an agency that you want to donate to, and you send them five dollars a day. I don't care. Maybe you want to, um, maybe there's some kids that need some school supplies that you know about. Um, and you, you know, you go in every day, you're buying school supplies. You go to, you know, you, you can literally go to Walmart and like, just, you could go down the school supply aisle and just be like, here's $5 on your kids' school supplies. I mean, you, so I want you guys to be creative, but every single day, and if you're in, put I'm in. Okay. I want to know who's in. Okay. So every single day this week. I want you all to give away money. Why we have to do this? Because it, it, it disconnects us from being a hoarder and also, and also it's, it detaches us from, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the whole thing. Like we hold on to something because why? We're afraid we're not going to get any more. When you, when you don't, when you don't give away money, right? It's like you're saying it's not that you're, you know, some people think they're being frugal and there is a place for frugality. But for some of us, it is you. You're holding on to the money you have because you're not. You're like, I don't know when I'm going to get any more. You see what I'm saying? So I want you to break that. I want you to break that. You know what I'm saying? I want. And I'm like I said, I'm not saying it's all prophetic or nothing like that. But I want you to break that. How do you do that? You just every day. You like listen. I'm I'm looking for ways to give away money because you know what? I know I'm gonna get some more. See, that's the whole idea, right? See, that's the idea. Like I'm I'm gonna look for ways to give away money because I know I'm gonna get more money. 
You see what I'm saying? So now you see how that changes even the, like everything about, you know, what we do. So go and find ways. Like you may, like I said, it may be an organization that you just donate to every, and you just may send a donation every day. Here, I'm donating $10 every day. Um, this week, we're going to do it seven days. Seven days. Seven is the number of completion. Now that is God. Okay. Seven days is the number of completion. So we're going to from Monday to next Monday, from this Monday to next Monday, every single day, we are giving away. You decide what's going to be the amount. It doesn't, that's not what I want to determine for you, but I want you to go and do it. Maybe you can do $10 a day and you have to know that your, if you decide to give away $10 a day, Okay, for the next seven, that's seventy dollars. You have to know there's an opportunity that's coming to you. You just have to know. Listen, I'm not gonna be worried about it. I'm not gonna be tripping about it. Uh, you know what? Hey, because giving starts the receiving process. Write that down. <laughs> giving starts the receiving process. So for many of you all in your business, maybe that's why you're not receiving sales is because you're not in the you're not in the in the flow. You're not in the flow. There's a flow that's happening. There's a giving and there's a receiving. There's a giving and there's a receiving. So if you're always if you're always receiving, um, there's a problem, sweetie. <laughs> there's a problem. If you're not giving, giving starts the receiving process. So if you're not a part of the process, if you want all your coaching for free, you want all your courses for free, you want everything for free, if you that's 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 why you don't have money coming to you because you want things for free. And that's not the cycle. That's not how this works. That's not how it works. I'm sorry, you can't, you know, no, no, no. You got to be you have giving starts a receiving process. Okay, yes, get in the flow. Giving starts the receiving process. So I want you to give every single day. I saw some people who said they were in. Listen, I don't care if you just give a dollar a day. Don't don't trip up on this. Don't don't trip up on this and be like, oh, ten dollars a day? Listen, give a dollar. But I want you to get break off from your mind. This poverty mentality that you don't have, because if that's what you're saying, if you say that, I don't have money to give. I ain't got no money to give. Then you know what? God gives seed to the sower. So therefore, if you're not sowing, you don't need no seed, sweetie. You don't need seed. If you hold on to all the seed, you don't need no seed. You don't need no more seed. So that's why I want you to do it because it will help you to detach yourself from the, um, from the mastery, the mastery of money. Some of y'all, money is just flat out mastering you. Got to let it go. Got to stop it. I don't care if it's a dollar a day. I don't care if you go to Walmart and buy crayons for somebody's child. Just say, here's a dollar to buy the crayons. Right? Go to Target. Find a mother in there in Target. Listen, you need, you know, what if you need some crayons? Here's a dollar. Buy your baby some crayons. Have an amazing day. They don't need to know your name. They don't have to know all that. Just know, listen, I'm just, I'm going to do this as an act of faith. I'm going to do, do this as an act of faith because I know that, you know, it's coming back. You know what I'm saying? Good measure. Press down, shaking together, and running over. <laughs> okay? So anyways, you guys, hey, I love you so much. Thanks for joining me today on The Purpose Penthouse. Sorry I went a little bit over, but y'all know I love... I love this topic. I'm not actually sorry about it either, though, because I believe that we got to get this out. You know what I'm saying? We got to get, we have to change our mind. We got to change our, we got to change our belief system and stuff as it relates to this particular topic of money. And, uh, and most churches don't want to talk about it, right? And I understand, you know, it's been like a taboo type subject inside the church for many, many years. Um, but we got to talk about it. You see what I'm saying? So you guys, listen, my name is Keisha Bass. Join me every Monday and Wednesday for the Purpose Penthouse Right, we are showing purposeful women how to place their fingerprint in this world by creating a powerful online presence as that pays. I would love to have you inside of our Facebook community. It is an absolutely free group that you can join in, join the conversation, get access to your major definite purpose, self confidence formula. And until next time, <laughs> I want you to go out, my friend, and get paid on purpose. I'll see you next time.